I thought we would go, you know, this will be the last episode of the month. So I do want to go over some all of the movies we've we've gone through just to see if we can maybe pick out a cuz we've done 34 episodes and in 34 episodes we've done 44 movies. We've gone through a lot of stuff. So I'm thinking like maybe we should pick out like a central curriculum, like a basic like cuz there's lots of movies that I think we saw that don't need to be uh necessarily invested with as much time or like 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 let's work through like some of the stuff that we think are essential viewing you know just that we've covered oh. in this season so uh dracula's daughter w would you say essential viewing um i can't remember i bet there's hard to compare aren't they there's some that you definitely don't need to see yeah right, right. so um right. no i don't know because we, we, usually the ones we picked were um were there any really bad that we didn't really just said? Well, you just said well, that. Well, Hand of Death. Hand of Death is, that use, was, is that useless. That was awful. Well, I think yeah. maybe useless. <laughs> that was useless. And, and you, I have to admit, the Mount Superior Spicus was not up there either. Oh, um, yeah, definitely not. Uh, that's one that isn't worthwhile seeing. There's no real redeeming value in that picture either. Do you want to hear me just list off all the movies we've seen this, uh, this season? Sure. All right. Dracula's Daughter. I thought it was good. Yeah, that like was it. all right. I like it. Peace on Earth, that was the animated short we saw on Christmas about the uh, the squirrels getting told the story by their grandpa about how humanity destroyed I, I itself. I have not been to cartoons, but it was definitely a good, good thing to watch. Cat People and Curse of the Cat People. I feel like the Curse of the Cat People at least has to be on there. Or we, I, I guess both. Yeah, they, they would have to be companion pieces. Yeah, wouldn't they? they go right with the daughter of Dracula. Yeah, definitely. Dracula's daughter. Yeah. Uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still. I, I did that as a bonus episode, so we didn't watch like that, that one, one together. Yeah, that, that's I've done that. I've seen it. I mean, it's time. definitely well done. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, Robert Wise, who directed The Curse of the Cat People, or half of it, directed uh, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Invaders from Mars, I think that's another definite, definite need to see. Uh, Invaders from Mars, is that with the Mars people? Like the, the little miniature ones? It's the one with the boy. Oh who no, sees that's the, definitely the, a must see the, movie. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a must see. Yes, I did. Yeah. It came from outer space as a bonus episode. That's the one where, um, let's see, that's the one where uh, Richard Carlson. That's a very good one too. Yeah, and that's the one. That, that one is interesting because it's almost like a predecessor to Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Like it, it's like. Yeah, you still have that trope where the um, the um, the invade they, they take over human form. Right. right? Yeah. They, but the human form there is a duplicate, so it isn't the actual form, right? It, it dies, and then yeah. the real forms are kept hostage somewhere because they're all released, right? Yeah. Right. That uh, was a good movie. Richard Carlson's a pretty decent actor. Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah. Uh, Donovan's Brain, I don't think that's really uh, necessary. There's some all right acting in it. There's some all right parts to it, but that's, I don't think... It's, I don't like what's her name. Uh, yeah. The Quater Mass Experiment. Excellent. I think that's, that's excellent. Top. That's, that's top. top then. Yeah. And of course, I did this for a bonus episode, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. That's That's got to be top, right? Don Siegel directing Invasion of the Body Which Snatchers. Which one was you talking about? Oh, the original. 1950, uh, 1956, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Kenneth, Kevin McCarthy, Dana Winter. I, th I think that was an excellent movie. Yes. Uh, the Black Sleep was all right uh that was pretty good the werewolf i think we have to put that up there that's definitely top yeah. tier i think we, we there are movies that were i mean there are a lot of things you could talk about the ones that have a complex script are are well done yeah, definitely so werewolf. yeah uh the mole people I that was one i did for a, yeah yeah definitely definitely the mole, the mole people. people that might yeah. be my personal favorite that's john agar isn't it oh yeah and that's, Hugh Beaumont, right <laughs> thankfully a john agar movie where he was actually good in it the incredible shrinking man another excellent yeah. excellent film excellent film uh i was a teenage werewolf invasion of the saucer that, you know, man that could pretty much go away I think, yeah I yeah i was a teenage frankenstein same thing yeah from hell it came the disembodied what's the from hell it came oh oh yeah the tree monster that was pretty i always that's one of my favorites for some reason yeah. even though it's american actors it's just weird yeah it it's is. just yeah. so weird yeah. uh the brain from planet eros like, I still have a soft spot. I wouldn't put it top ten territory, but like it's definitely an honorable mention. Yeah, I think yeah. somewhere. 
The Amazing Colossal Man, Attack of the Puppet People, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. War of the Colossal Beast has to be somewhere, doesn't it? Like, at least an honorable mention. Because, like, we did, like, do a whole thing where it's, like, we kind of dissected how it's, like, a movie about post-traumatic stress disorder, basically, that it's a... Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of ones to get rid of. So, what was the ones before that? Uh, Amazing Colossal Man. That yeah. wasn't bad, because she's in that one, too. It, it was all right, but, like, you I know, like these, it's like... Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it wasn't nearly as good as War of the Colossal No, Beast. it's not, like, but it's, it, there's... I like the idea. It's a very simple plot where, yeah. you know, the, the husband's cheating on the wife. Oh, no, that's Attack the of the 50-Foot Woman. Oh, that, that was a good one, I thought. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was, yeah. That's right. Uh, the H Man, I think that's got to be top I tier. Like nice little police yeah. procedural, yep. noirish. Yep. Fiend without a face, I was not fond of. But the brain one? The crawling brain. No, there's no, that's yeah. no depth to that at all. But it's a good film. I, yeah, it's, I, all, it's all right. I yeah. wouldn't like, like, like it. Make, make Hideous it. Sun Demon, I think that's got to be honorable mention, just for the ingenuity of the end. Yeah, yeah. The last twenty minutes is really compelling, right? Yeah, we, saw, just, we talked about that. Yeah. Uh, the Blob has got to be top tier. Yeah, you got to give it to the Blob. It. Steve McQueen. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I saw this for a bonus episode, Teenagers from Outer Space. Do you remember that one? Do you think you saw that? Like, I won't include it in no, top tier. No. Like, uh, the Killer Shrews. And Love the, the Killer Shrews. And the Giant Gila Monster. They kind of have to be companion pieces, don't they? You can't really see one the without shoes. the others. The Killer Shrews yeah. is so layered. It's so so good. I yeah. really like the Killer Shrews. Yeah, it's shot I, I well and well acted. With, what's his name? Yeah. yeah. Definitely bottom tier, the 30-foot bride of Candy Rock. That's That's got to be you down know, I, towards the bottom. I, there's something about... I agree with you. I mean, it's not really... And it's got Bud Abbott. Or Luke Costello, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> God forbid it have Bud Abbott. But there's something about it that... Um, I don't know. It's got some interesting... I don't know. There's something about it that is is interesting. I just thought that it was an interesting kind of... Thing. It wasn't well, it's very kind good. of an, a snapshot of an era, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Kaltiki. Love the Kaltiki. Good special effects. I think honorable mention just for great special right. effects and right. great cinematography. Right. Not necessarily. Night Tide. Have you ever seen Night Tide, Dennis Hopper? I did that as a bonus episode with Eli. I don't think so. Yeah, no, you have to see Night Tide at some point. Mothra. I'm going to say top tier for Mothra. Uh, that was my favorite. Rodan's more of my favorite. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to... Eventually, next season, we'll definitely get do a deep dive into some giant monster stuff. But uh, the brain that wouldn't die... Eh. Oh, that's one with the woman's head? Yeah. I, would I give like the, that one. I would it's give that an honor... creepy movie. I would give it an honorable mention for the, the performance of the head. Yeah. Like, that alone makes it worth watching. Hand of Death, obviously... Bottom of the barrel. Do no, not watch. No redeeming quality. No redeeming quality whatsoever. Uh, the horror of Party Beach and the Beach Girls and the Monster. I don't... I mean, I, um, it, it's not as low as Hand of Death, but it's no, pretty fucking it's low. it's pretty low. We were at a yeah. low point with yeah. that. Uh, and, of course, <laughs> and of course, Santa Claus Conquers the Martian. I don't know. That's all right. Yeah, like I think I think it's interesting. You hated it when we first saw it, but it seems like your estimation no, of it no, has improved no, in right. time. That's why I'm glad we watched it. All yeah. right, so let's quickly do the top ten right off the top of our heads. Oh, man. I'm gonna go ahead and say one companion piece is Cat People and Curse of the Cat People. That'll be top. That'll be one. Day the Earth Stood Still. Do you think that has to be in top ten, or do you think like you wanna? Oh, I would like to go with the kid one. Invasion, Invaders from Mars. Yeah. yeah, I would say that's definitely then, top ten. Yeah, uh, Quater Mass Experiment. Absolutely. Yeah, that's top that's on, ten. That's not even right. That's just mole by, people by the numbers. Can mole we do mole people and Incredible Shrinking Man, or is that too yeah. much? Yeah, both mole people, and Incredible Shrinking Man. All right, so we got five already. We're already crowding out the roster. I'm gonna go ahead and say the Blob definitely needs to be on there. Can... Cal, Cal, Cal Tiki can go out, I don't think. Oh, no, definitely, definitely. Yeah. As companion pieces, Killer Shrews and the Giant Gila Monster needs to be uh, top ten. Or not top ten, do you think? Not Giant we... Gila Monster, but certainly Cal, certainly the uh, Killer Shrews. All right, so we'll, we'll qualify Killer Shrews, Giant Gila Monster in the top ten. H-Man, I think, needs to be on there. So does Mothra, I think. Uh, I already counted the blob. So I'm... What was the one with... Um... 
Oh, that's right, Mothra. Right. Uh, and I guess, okay, so the only ones I can think of, like, so this is one that's going to come down to a difference between whether I think something was technically well made and whether I think something was, like, at least more interesting. So the only ones that I think is, like, the vacant spot is really... A oh, we didn't talk about um, the vampire. Yeah, like, the vacant spot for me there is, there's, it's like a re revolving door, there's War of the Colossal Beast, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the Werewolf and the Vampire, and that's a tough pick. I think I have to go with Invasion of the Body Snatchers just because it's the most well made, but but like I don't know if that necessarily makes for the most diverse curriculum. I don't know. Maybe you should just expand your list a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> not do a top ten at all. We could do a top ten. I mean, it's just not you know. I how about this? We'll trade out the day of the Earth. Oh, we already did invaders from Mars instead of doing the day of the Earth stood still. All right, let's just go ahead and say, uh, yeah, number ten is dealer's choice. But yeah, top ten curriculum for the year is definitely going to be cat people and curse the cat people. That's one package. See them together. Yeah, they're so different. They're yeah. not even. They shouldn't be titled that way. Yeah, exactly. Uh, second, number two, Invaders from Mars. That's a definite. I definitely like It that came one. from outer space. That's a definite. That's a good one. Quatermass Experiment. That's a definite. Mole People. Definite. Incredible Shrinking Man. Definite. Uh, H-Man. Definite. The Blob. Definite. Killer Shrews and the Giant Gila Monster. Definite. I think the, well, Giant Gila Monster, yeah, okay, good. And then Mothra. I think, we yeah, was, that's actually... We said Mothra, didn't we? I, I didn't count it in the top ten. I okay. think I counted them wrong. But yeah, that's an ob that's your top ten. That's your top ten. That's your curriculum. If you can't see all 44 movies, I'm going to include the list to... I kept a list on letterbox.com of all the movies we watched this year, including short films we watched, including uh, Toast to Our Brother, which is the college film directed by the guy who ended up making Teenagers from Outer Space... There's a lot of good stuff on there, including our bonus episode stuff. I didn't even include Fright Night and uh, um, Twilight in the roster just because I feel like that's more of like, that's more like, you know, extra, extra credit right. stuff. But, but yeah, anyway, we're going to take a, we're going to take a break for, I don't know. I think we'll take a break for a month, maybe more. Just have a, I'll keep making episodes. It'll be more casual stuff. I'll try to keep abreast of. Anything in the sort of vein of stuff we covered this season that I don't think we covered, but, you I know. I think so. We're off of London. We did cover. Yeah. I, we, we, definitely when we come back. Um, for, definitely when we well, come. The Curse of the Faceless Man we should see. Yeah. Um, there are a number of ones that yeah. we didn't see yet. Um, I mean, definitely first things first when we come and back. And they're for, still black and white and they're still early. They're yeah, 1930s, yeah, right? definitely. 1930s. Yeah, definitely first things first when we come back for second season. Yeah. I want to do the original universe, the first wave of universal okay. horror movies. Okay. That'll that include good. Werewolf of London, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah. I don't want to do Dracula because it's been, I just don't think, I just don't think it's terribly good. And there's a couple more I want to see. I think it's either... I mean, I guess it'll be a toss-up. I, 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 I need to think about which of the other Universal ones. Because I also want to just do... I also want to just do, like, more stuff where we focus on specific directors. Right. Like, I'd like to do Todd Browning. I'd like to do James Whale, who did Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, The Invisible Man. Todd Browning obviously did Dracula, but which I'm not a particular Invisible fan of. Invisible Man's a good one, too. It's a shame. Yeah, The Invisible Man's really good. But Todd Browning also did Freaks. I feel like inevitably we have to cover Freaks on this uh, show. And then I also want to cover George Pal. I want to cover those sort of... Because even though George Pal didn't make B-movies, those were definitely, like, sort of precursors to modern blockbuster movies. We need to, like, sort of cover those just to sort of set the stage for what everybody else is imitating on a smaller budget. Like, we need to see, like, War of the Worlds, When Worlds Collide, The Time Machine, especially... You know, I, I want to do more time travel but stuff. But they're color, though. We're starting to get out black and white. Yeah, like, but those were color in, like, the 50s and yeah, stuff. Like, true. again, those, again, it's like they weren't B-movies. Oh, right. What's we, the one with the 
the Martian one with the with the War of the Worlds. Robbie, Robbie a robot. Um, Forbidden Planet. Forbidden Planet. Oh yeah, we got definitely we got to do Forbidden Planet. We got to do robots. We've got to do friendly robots. We've got to do angry robots. There's a lot of stuff to cover, but we'll we'll get back to you guys in a month. So I'll keep uploading content. It'll be a little more casual, but stay tuned. Uh, and thank you for joining us on a uh, very productive season of Monster Craze Memoirs. Thank <laughs> you.